And we are here with the class, the uh, th 29 boys who participated in this project at the Yeshiva University High School for Boys. Names Out Numbers is a wonderful project at our school, Yeshiva University High School, which has enabled us to both learn about the Holocaust through personal stories of survivors and also to preserve the memories of those survivors by documentary films of their testimonies. We have come to learn about those who reached out to help our people during the bleakest periods of their history. We call them righteous Gentiles because they risked their lives in order to help save Jews. For this reason, we are honored to speak to you today. For we have learned that genocide is something that people need to and must oppose no matter where or when it happens. And in meeting you, we meet someone like the righteous Gentiles from our own history, about whom we can only read. Meeting you reinforces that it is important not only to be, not to be the perpetrators of hatred in the world, but also that it is vital for us to not stand idly by as bystanders and let atrocities like that happen. This is a great honor not only for me, but for our students uh, to be able to participate in this activity. And our students have a lot of questions to ask you, but I think that since they're not quite as old as I am and, and didn't live through that period, it would be great if they could hear from you a few words about uh, what happened in Rwanda in the 1990s and the role you played, and then we could have them ask, uh, ask some of the questions that they have for you. The actions that you took in Rwanda were in response to the specific genocide that was going on there. Um, but today there's still mass murder being perpetrated around the world and people are being deprived of their rights. Are you currently involved in any international organizations that are fighting these atrocities? And what advice could you give to young people who want to become involved? You see, after going through what I went through, after seeing all I saw throughout my whole life, to you young people, my advice is tough and simple at the same time. You are tomorrow's leaders. We have learned, as we have learned, many lessons. Even if we couldn't put them into practice, even if history keeps repeating itself, and sometimes we see and don't understand, but you, young people, you are tomorrow's leaders. I think that through experience, I have come to learn that the best weapon in life is not necessarily a gun, but words. With words, you can save lives. 1994, I did not have any gun. My best weapon was my words. So to you young people, my advice is that wherever you are, if you see people killing each other, you advise them to say to silence guns and use words to solve conflicts. Give a chance to dialogue. And this is my foundation's mission. Secondly, you, as I said, are tomorrow's leaders, and you have the whole of tomorrow into your hands. You are the only ones who can shape tomorrow. You can shape the world. So my message to you is that you guys, you, the future leaders, shape this world and make it a better world.